lights, cameras, action, everything under the strobe light that glow. Rutgers University, a lot of people tuning in right now. For those that don't know who's in the building, we got the young man Word Spit, Brooklyn representative. Yes. Brooklyn, East New York is definitely in the building. Is that a Brooklyn to the to the whole nother degree or are you just keeping moderately on the big moderate on the big ups? You know what? I like to I love I love Brooklyn, but I like to just keep it strictly East New York, you know? East Strictly East New York. You know Biggie with Best Style, Jay Z. Oh, is that, is that is like that is that what strictly. it has turned into in Brooklyn? Because it's not, it's not, it's not Brooklyn is so popping, well. right? It's so popping <laughs> that now you can claim streets. You know what I mean? You don't have to do Brooklyn no more. Now you know I'm not claim. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to claim the streets. You know that's. Which street are you from, Brooklyn? I'm, in Brooklyn, I'm from all over East New York, so okay. I can't give you a distinct street. PO box. I'm, I'm everywhere. I'm not going <laughs> to give you a PO box neither. Good fella radio show. The word, the boy word spit is definitely in the building. Yes, welcome. <laughs> well, moving right along, I, I, what I want to do is I want to familiarize those that are at home and those in the stream that don't know too much about you and, and just give them an opportunity to catch up to speed and let them know exactly what you're about. Okay, basically, if, you, if they want to know about Word Spit, I am your backpack rapper. This is, this is what people like to label me, your backpack rapper, your skateboard geek, okay. your... Um, over eager freestyler with me I'm just a humble MC on the come up and that's it you know I dropped the coolest b-boy stance recently which is gaining some popularity on the internet they can definitely find that at wordspitwishit.com I remember playing the games and, and getting it in but you seem that, that video wasn't shot too long ago so this is something you're definitely still interested in, in yeah that, that was that that video the um the, the song is basically my tribute to Street Fighter, you know, that was my favorite pastime when I was a young kid. Um, at the same time, it's about how I destroy my opponents. I'm going to win a game, the game of life, you know, because we relate that to everything, the game of life, we relate the game to the streets, the game to music, and it was just, you know, my sneak this, the throwing it. Now, when I think, um, when I think Brooklyn, when I think New York, or at least in its heyday, in, in, in the golden days, I think of the super lyricists, represent the grind, the grit, the streets, so the projects, got, the K -Man. K -Man. No, no, no. I, I'm just trying to get to. I mean, obviously, you know where I'm trying to get to yeah, with this question. And, and, and it's very, it's very. You're still a lyricist, but it's in a whole different realm. And, it, and it's kind of odd when you say Brooklyn and you tie you to it. You think so? Because you know, you know, New York and Brooklyn has that stereotype, right? Like, you know, what I mean, these dudes go, oh, they represent the lyricists. And for you to come off the way you do, nice young man, nice smile, video games, it's like, oh, this is the new Brooklyn. Yo, um, I think people find it odd because. Well, when I come up, they don't really expect much of me. So they see the kid, you know, the sweatshirt, the nice skinny jeans, the hat, maybe my hair is wrapped, you know, on... And the doobie, I, I see yeah. the doobie. You know, I like, the do I like to keep the hair nice sometimes, you know, when I'm not looking <laughs> filthy and gritty. You know what I mean? Right now I'm just chilling. But um, so it really shocks people when I open my mouth that I can actually rap. That, so, and that's what I what I was shooting at. You know what I mean? Like they get they got the false perception easily. Yeah. That when they see the skinny jeans. For one, we live in it nowadays. Nobody with skinny jeans can rap. Period. You got skinny jeans on. Uh, you, they people automatically don't think you can rap. So can we make the the public announcement that Wordspit is officially the only dude rocking skinny jeans who <laughs> can rap? Can we say that here? Yes, you can. You can actually say that here. Say that. I want to hear it verbatim. Listen, I am the only dude. <laughs> With skinny jeans on, that can actually rap. Jesus juice, hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> now, as far as people miss getting, getting the false perception with you, um, has it happened uh, on a public forum? Has it happened with anyone um, recently that you felt like, you know what, maybe this dude got me messed up and you, ha and you wanted to get an opportunity to kind of let them know what you were about? Uh, no. Nah, I, I can't say that. Um... I would say that people are viewing a, a video right now on the internet. You know, they're, they're circling two dope boys. They're making me look like a hungry dude. I am a hungry dude. You know, I like to cipher. And I like to cipher with people that I think are dope. Um, I'm not going to say no names or whatever. I encountered a, a dope dude that I definitely respect his art. Um, and I wanted to cipher with him. He said he wasn't feeling too good. You know, shouts out to him. I can understand that. Um, but other than that, nah. So there's a particular musician that you would be mind saying the name. Well, obviously you're trying to get around it, but I'm not gonna let that slide. I am. I do radio. Um, you know, I got the chance to meet Consequence at the um, Common Roots Affair. 
Um, and he said he wasn't, you know, I, was, I started rapping because, you know, I just, I just, I'm, I'm yeah. amazed. It was common. The roots was there. I felt like I wanted to just jump on stage. And, you know. You wanted a, you wanted a little mom mother situation, but you could <laughs> no, 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 no. You just want to disrespect everybody <laughs> and I just not, grab a, a, a tree <laughs> branch and be like, yo, nah, I just think I, I'm both of y'all and I got skinny jeans on. Nah, I didn't want to say nah, nah. For one, I did not. <laughs> he said, I, I don't think I'm, I'm doper than anybody. You know, I, I just live for the moment of hip hop. And I wanted to live for the moment. So, you know, I was freestyling already. I look over to my left. I see consequence. You know, I definitely respect what he's doing. I was like, hey, let's invite him into the cypher. He said he wasn't feeling too good, and I can respect that. You know? One, two. Oh, as he play it back, he listens. Noticing that he's slipping. Crumbles the piece of paper, toss it to the side.